local grandmother found dead inside her Fairfield apartment. Now, tonight, the coroner has ruled her death now a homicide. 58-year-old Carol Boyd died from blunt force trauma to the head. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joining us live right now with new details. And Karen, you spoke with one of Carol's friends. You know, I did, Mike, and I got to tell you, in this community, it's really the children here who knew Carol Boyd. One young girl over there tells me she even called her grandmother. Now, uh, Carol lived here. She lived alone. Her grandson would often come and check on her, I'm told, and Saturday when her grandson stopped by, he found his grandmother unconscious. She was very sweet, and she's been sweet to my granddaughter. Um, she had dogs. My granddaughter walked the dogs. This neighbor's granddaughter was supposed to walk Carol Boyd's dog Saturday morning, but at 10 a.m., no one answered her door. Three and a half hours later, Boyd's grandson called 911. My grandma was like on the floor, like passed out. The 58 year old died a short time later at the hospital. Very sad, and it's kind of unfortunate because, like, I, I don't know why it had to happen to her, but um, it's scary, too. No one in the Woodridge Glen apartments seems to know why Boyd was targeted. Neighbors say she was mild mannered, loved her dogs, grandchildren, plants, and bingo. They say she was also handicapped. Everybody will help her. I will help her. My granddaughter will help her. The kids will help her. Um, she's just always talking to everybody, friendly, very friendly. Less than 24 hours after Boyd's death, Fairfield police arrested 29 year old Michael Jason Miller of Green Township. He's now charged with murder. I've seen him on the news. I'd never seen him before. And so I don't, I don't know who he was and what, what's the connection. I have no idea. At this point, Fairfield police aren't commenting on a connection or motive. And we tried to get a comment from Miller's family, but no one answered the door at his Green Township home. When I did get a hold of a relative on the phone, he said to me, we've got nothing to say. Reporting live tonight in Fairfield, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. Miller will be arraigned in Fairfield Municipal Court tomorrow morning.